Hi friends, Don Wilson here demonstrating the Wilson Home Studio phonograph. This is the second one of uh, this type that I've built. And this machine comes on the heels of a solid year of research and development of building the best possible affordable cylinder phonograph. You may have seen the uh, earlier version that I had, the one with an aluminum front panel on it. Uh, that machine was transistorized, had transistorized controls, whereas this one is purely digitally controlled. This studio model currently uses three 16 megahertz microprocessors, one for the mandrel, one for the feed screw, and a third for a telemetry computer, which relays the RPM data both to an LCD screen as well as to the feed screw computer to automatically uh, set the feed screw rate when the uh, pitch control is turned. The pitch control will go all the way from uh, approximately 80 to 180 RPMs. And this machine also comes with mandrels for playing the Pathé Salon and Edison Concert Cylinders. Uh, you can see this nice lathe that the machine is built on. Lots of aluminum and steel, all precision machined. Here's the sensor that uh, transmits that data. And all the electronics and the motors are stored inside this housing. The motors, a, um, a large three amp stepper motor for the mandrel and a two amp stepper motor for the feed screw are uh, in, they're attached using these uh, very uh, deceptively soft silicone acoustic isolators. And then the, uh, the shaft couplers also use uh, the same incredibly soft but incredibly strong silicone. Uh, and that keeps any uh, frequencies or any buzzing from the stepper motors uh, isolated and uh, won't transmit them to the machine itself. There's also ground wires attached to both the crossbar and the machine itself that, th that can then go to uh, upstream equipment. The mandrels are all 3D printed using ABS plastic and then um, they, uh, a steel core is inserted and they're turned on a custom lathe to set the exact taper and good dimensional accuracy. Underneath the machine, you can see these five rubber feet with felt bottoms and the nice wire management that I developed for this machine to keep everything tidy and professional. About the ground wires, by the way, uh, that's purely for connecting to the, uh, the upstream equipment. Everything inside this machine is 12 volts DC, so uh, the machine itself doesn't need to be electrically grounded, but for uh, the best fidelity, uh, having the equipment grounded is always best. Okay, so that's the quick demo. Uh, now I'm going to uh, plug the camera into the audio equipment and you'll hear some direct transfers from uh, three different cylinders that I've picked a, uh, a two minute, an early four minute, and a late four minute. Rainbow shone out smiling from the summer sky, and when she saw this sign, she sighed. Now can't you see it's fate? He cried, "Come love and be my happy bride, brighter than the rainbow beam, the love light in her eye." And as they wandered home that night, beneath the moonbeam silvery light, off he sang with delight. Come be my rainbow, my pretty rainbow, my heart be glad. Give me. Once in a while, in rain or sun, 
sunshine, my rainbow, keep your love light and glow. I love you so, my sweet rainbow. Come be my rainbow, my pretty rainbow. Chicago Bank and stopped the Glendale train. 